Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. Weather seems pretty nice at the moment. So we've just stepped outside in the Mystery Lake for the first time. There's usually a wolf down here, so we'll have to watch for that one. But let's go ahead and... I've been saying for the past couple of episodes that I want to make pretty quick work of Mystery Lake, and I definitely do. There's usually a dead deer here. Yep, there is. So hang on. What would be the smartest way to do this? We can get the hide with a knife. So let's go ahead and harvest this stuff. It's about midday. We are starting to get low on thirst. And let's use, someone pointed this out in the comment. I can't believe I haven't thought of it sooner, but you know, if you use separate tools on, you know, the parts of the deer that require separate tools to get through stuff fastest, you can actually do a little bit better. Oh man, snow's starting to come down again. That sucks. Yeah, I want to go ahead and have another hide curing. Maybe by the time we leave Forlorn Muskeg, we will have we will have um, some cured deer hides with which to make stuff. All right, we're actually getting pretty low on water, so do need to keep moving despite the fact that the weather's starting to look crappy. We can definitely get places. Right, we actually have raw meat on us right now, which is not the smartest thing. So maybe let's find that wolf. There you are, bastard. Is the wolf actually coming toward me? I think it is. Come on. Then. Oh, you know what we didn't get? We didn't get Fluffy's corpse. All right, that's that. 19 bullets we have on us. That's about to be, well, 19 extra on top of the 10 we have in the magazine. Not bad. All right, so Wolf is dead. We need to go down and get Fluffy's meat as well. So yeah, I said we're going to go out in a mystery lake, but I totally forgot about Fluffy. Um, yeah, 45 minutes if I use the hunting knife now. I'm a little bit nervous about what's going to happen if I go for this outright, but let's try it. The weather's probably going to get worse. Done. All right, we've got a lot of meat on us now. It's worth stepping inside, starting to fire really quick, and getting some meat cooked. I can't remember if there's a fire. I don't think there is a a place to start a fire upstairs. If there is, it'd be great. I, be able to carry this load for much longer. I know, chill out. Let's pick up the firewood, because we're going to need it. I can go ahead and drop a lot of what I just picked up. So we can drop the wolf pelt. There's that, and I can go ahead and drop the guts here. Yeah, I don't think there's a fire barrel up here, but I could be wrong. So we'll have to go down to the one near Fluffy, but that's fine. Because we've got a bunch of meat that we need to cook anyway. Wouldn't it suck if Fluffy respawned? Fluffy doesn't respawn, but it would suck if she did. He slash she slash it. The demon wolf. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I said we were going to Mystery Lake, but... There was a wolf coming for me, and I had raw meat on me, and we've got to cook it. Like, <laughs> that has to happen. We need food anyway. Still going to go to Mystery Lake and try and be quick about it. Did I pick up the bedroll? Yes, I did. So Fluffy's corpse is right here. Or not. Fluffy's corpse is already gone. Well, that sucks. So I guess when we left the dam, it despawned it. There's no way it degraded that quickly. I mean, we, we slept for a little bit, but that shouldn't have... I don't know. That feels like... Did I hear something? That's only a little bit terrifying. Okay. Um... Could use accelerant. Hang on, you know what? I've got that one book. Yeah, I need to go ahead and burn this frontier survival guide. So let's go ahead and start this fire. We're gonna put a bunch of wood on this thing because we found some in here anyway. Cook all this meat, leave it outside in the ice. This 
Somebody let me know in the comments. I don't know if in the recent patches they've added the actual, if they finally made it to where wildlife will come in and steal your meat if you leave it outside in the snow. It's really good to leave meat in the snow because you can generally make your, uh, make it last longer. And it, it's condition stays better because, you know, it's frozen, that whole thing. But I'm just not sure if they've changed that yet. All right, so we're at three hours on this fire. Let's go ahead and cook for a bit. We will get some cooking skill out of this, which is not the worst thing. Good bit of cooking skill, in fact. Because we got a lot of meat. Oh, we're heating the cup of herbal tea. That's really useful. Thanks, game. <laughs> Alright, at least it took it off the list. Off the top of the list, anyway. Alright, so I think this is the wolf meat we're cooking now. We still have plenty of time on the fire, so I don't think we're going to need to add any more meat to it. If I just stay on this, we should be in good shape. more gamey wolf meat. Let's cook that, and it's actually kind of perfect in terms of timing on this fire. Now there's one more thing, though, that I need from this fire before I'm done. So we're probably going to have to rest the night, but that's fine. Rest through the night, I guess I should say. Let's boil this, and done. Nice! We are now at level 2 in fire starting. About time. Let's actually take a look at our skills in general. Level 2 fire starting. With this much gear. So you're quite good at fire starting fires now. Your fires start better and they last longer. 55% chance to start fires. Fire, fires last 10% longer. Cooking, we're almost to level 3. Wait, wait a minute. What, what am I still carrying that's putting off a scent? I guess I'll go ahead and eat some of this stuff, because I can. Alright, so we're getting risk of intestinal parasites right now. Intestinal parasites, excuse me. Um, that should put us pretty near the top. Yeah, we're pretty thirsty now, though. Hang on, let's drink. I'll solve that problem. We still have a bunch of meat. What am I carrying? Okay, the scent is gone now. So I guess if you have a ton of cooked meat, you put off a little bit of a scent. Not as much as raw meat, but that's good to know. Adrian learned something today. Now right, let's step back up here. It is still... There's going to be a little bit of light up here. Not much. But as you can see, enough to navigate by. So now, sounds like we got a blizzard outside. That's fine by me. Let's leave the upper dam. Step over here to nature's freezer, and let's go ahead and drop all of this stuff in the snow. Thought I heard more noise again. Might have been a bunny, but a bunny wouldn't have been inside the dam, so I don't know where it came from the first time. Is Carter Hydro Dam haunted? That's what I want to know. All right, so let's plop this thing down, and we are fully. Let's go ahead. And let's do the same thing as before. I think it'll wake us up at around the same time. Maybe a little bit before dawn this time, but... Because we're not going to sleep as late as we did before. Yeah, still well before dawn. But, we're in better shape with regard to... the weather. Alright, let's go outside. All right, I'm going to go ahead and travel in this. Because why not? All right, let's eat this fresh venison. And what else do I have on me? Anything that I can drop at all. I mean, yeah, but... Drop uh, this tinder plug. These, these nine tinder plugs, because I've got the cattail heads. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll just drop them over here. Okay, and then anything else. I mean, painkillers are also starting to add up a little bit of weight. 
Everything adds up in the Lawn Dark. You just got to keep an eye on it. Actually, it is really dark. I'm realizing as I step foot outside, I was like, wait a minute. This might not have been the brightest idea. Yeah, tell you what, let's let's step inside and pass some time for a bit. Because there's there's no moonlight right now. It's this is about as dark as it gets in the lawn dark. So I think I'd rather go inside, pass the time a little bit. And I don't even know that I picked up my bedroll. I don't recall picking it up. Alright. I think I did. Let's light this thing just to be sure. Yeah, I did. Alright. So if we plop that thing back down, we don't need the bedroll down, actually, because we're not going to sleep. Let's put this thing away. And actually, it might let us sleep for an hour. Nope, not going to let us. Um, one thing I could do, I've got so much fuel. This is going to be the best way to do this. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is frustrating. I was totally going to go out in the mystery lake, but then the wolf and the deer and everything. So let's... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this thing here. And we're going to read for an hour. That lantern's not going to last particularly long, but I have lots of fuel nearby, so hang on. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Actually, it's still good. So in that case, let's go ahead and research. Uh, screw it. Let's research for three. Might even be able to research the whole book. That way I can drop the book. Yeah, lantern just went out. That's fine by me. We'll just refill it. And research now that we've got daylight. Ooh, pack is kind of Actually just wasted a little bit of fuel because there was some the sun was coming up and we didn't need the didn't need it for that last little bit, but that's fine. Oh good. Alright, so we hit the next cooking skill, of course. Because we were so close before. That's good news. Refuel. And drop. I'll just put it there. All right. We are not that encumbered anymore. We're still encumbered. It's frustrating, but we're not that encumbered. Let's step back in here. Okay, weather's a little bit better. Now, one thing I need to be better about doing to save weight is this. All right, so we just surveyed Carter Hydro. You know what? Hang on. Before I leave... Oh, this is all wolf meat. Never mind, I don't want to eat that. My intestinal parasite risk is as high as I'm willing to tolerate right now, so instead I'm just going to go ahead and drink this water. We're going to need more water soon, but we'll find some. We'll be okay. That freed up a little bit of weight. So let's go. Where to first? Got the... Kill the wolf, kill the deer. There will be more wolves, to be sure. But I think we're going to beeline... I think the first place I want to go is beeline for the new tower. So that you guys have a chance to see that for those of you who haven't yet and are interested in seeing it in a Let's Play anyway. So I'll do that. Plus for those of you who just want to kind of know the way. I'm still learning it myself to tell you the truth, but I, it's it's very easy to spot seeing as how it's so high above the zone. It's an awesome spot, really. So I think there's another dead deer that usually hangs out there. Actually, I don't see any, any any I don't see any crows circling, so maybe not. But nope, there he is. All right, I'm not going to worry about that deer because if I spend the entire episode just gutting animals, then I'm never going to get anything done. But it is good to know it's there because that deer is. It's a little bit different from a typical, you know, kill that will decay like Fluffy did. What happens instead
Those of, some of you may know where I'm going right now. I'm not going to the tower just yet. I'm checking for something. But, um... So, uh, that particular deer will actually be in the game world indefinitely until you harvest it. It's kind of, it's a ravaged deer corpse. It's a ransacked deer corpse, if you will. So, uh, it's not quite the same. Uh, it's not going to give you a lot of meat. It's, it will give you a hide and two guts, which is nice. Is there a wolf down there? I think I saw one. I think there's one right there. Maybe eating a bunny because it's standing still. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things. Right, so let's step up here. Weather seems like it's worsening a little bit, but it's okay. We are near shelter. Oh yeah. This is becoming a blizzard right now, actually. Oh, the long dark. You slay me. All right, so do we have a prepper cache? No, we don't. What's the temperature? 29. So we're okay. We just need to get inside because our clothing is going to get wet. And then we're not going to be okay. So let's go downstairs quickly, for the love of God. By downstairs, I mean down the hill. You know what I mean. I can't remember the last time I got ambushed by a wolf in a blizzard, but we might be about to find out what that's like. It feels like negative four, so we are significantly colder. I promise I know where I'm going. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do. We're going to have very, very wet and damaged clothes. Not particularly damaged, but we're going to they're going to get worn down in this wind. So I need to get inside. Yeah, not good. I was checking the temperature, but I can watch my meters this way. Now we are almost scot-free. Mystery Lake, are you having an identity crisis? I'm pretty sure I've heard three blizzards since I got here. Well, heard two, and, and now I'm standing in one. All right. Home free. Let's take a quick pit stop here. So this is the logging camp. Been here many a time. Cedar firewood. Nothing else going on here. We got some rose hips, but I'm not going to worry about them right now. Got to get inside. All right, now our clothes are going to be soaked from standing out in that blizzard. Oh, yeah. The other thing is that their condition is likely to be a little bit lessened from all that. Ah, oh, it's actually not that bad, all things considered. All right. Well, let's have a look around then. We're going to have to wait out this storm a little bit. Mystery Lake thinks it is Pleasant Valley. I have no other way to explain what's happening right now. Ragged Wool Souk. Don't need a wool, a ragged wool toque. Don't need that at all. We've got plenty of stuff. We got a chocolate bar, very nice. I'll go ahead and pick up the reclaimed wood because we might be starting to fire in a bit. Trail boots, nice. I can break those down. Actually, what kind of shoes am I wearing? Am I wearing um, work boots? Trail boots are not as good. They're better at wind protection, and they are also lighter. I might actually, you know what? I think I might switch out my trail boots. We don't have cured leather, though, so... Yeah, the, the, I would lose some warmth protection, but not that much. Only only a degree or so, and I would have better wind protection, better wetness protection, and I'd be able to sprint for longer periods of time. I'd have more mobility. I don't know. It just seems like it might be a good idea. I've got some really good items on me, protection-wise, and we still have yet to make some of the other ones. I just feel like trail boots might be better to go with right now, until we find mucklucks, which I'm really hoping we will. Well, let's step outside here. You know what? I don't trust myself. Let's do one more look. I was talking for most of the time I was in there, and that is a recipe for disaster. Anything in here? No. Anything under there? No. Okay. Yeah. Now we're good. Let's step outside, and I'm just going to go clockwise around these huts. 
could have sworn I saw an animal silhouette for a second. This game is starting to mess with my head. Alright, so there's some accelerant, another storm lantern, which will break down for even more scrap metal. Alright, I saw a tin of sardines. Tell you what, it's a little bit dark in some of these corners, so let's go ahead and get our storm lantern out. Actually, we just picked up a second storm lantern. Why don't we go ahead and break down the one that is in lesser condition? You. And now we'll shine a light into this corner and see if there's anything else hanging out in the crate. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing, in fact. Energy bar. Nice. Got a couple of those on us now. It's always a good way to remember which ones you've been into and which you haven't. This little triad of, uh, of logging huts just going clockwise. Thin wool sweater. Okay, we'll break that down for cloth in just a second. I would really like leather items, though. Another energy bar. Not bad. Game's being pretty kind with the energy bars lately. Newsprint. Nothing there. Eat your firewood, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Like I said, we could potentially have a fire soon. Simple tools, I'll break that down in a second. Right, I think we're good again. Let's put this away. Don't have anything to do while the blizzard's going, so let's go ahead and break this stuff down. Free scrap metal. Okay, good. So we got a little bit of daylight left, and I just heard the blizzard die down. That's handy. Um... We're carrying those extra shoes right now, which is kind of annoying, but I'm just going to deal with it for now. I do have some extra clothing items on me, though, so let's go ahead and harvest those. Get the cloth from them. This is going to pass some daylight. Here I am talking about being excited that there's additional daylight, and don't want to waste too much of it. All right, so we have those, and that's everything, right? Yes. One of these energy bars is not in great condition. Let's go ahead and eat that before it gets any lower. Also, I'm going to eat this beef jerky for the same reason. And then I will drink this summit soda, likewise, for similar reasons. Well, not condition, but just actually in this case, wait. Let's go outside. Actually, it looks like the, the light's gotten pretty bright. Maybe that means, yes, that's what I wanted to see. Very good. All right, so now I said we were going to go to the, we're actually pretty weighed down right now. By what? By what, exactly? I guess the wood. All right, that's fine. Well, we're going to need wood if we start a fire at the top of the... Um, new tower location, so... I'm not going to run too fast because I don't want to waste my energy. Oh, that's why I'm way down, too. I'm actually pretty tired. So my encumbrance limit is lower than normal. What is it? Yeah, 57.71. It's about 10 pounds down. A little bit over eight pounds right now, but it's getting worse. Let's see, I think what I'll do is I'll get us up to the new tower, give us a nice view to enjoy, use some of my charcoal to map out the area, even though height doesn't make a difference, which it should, but it doesn't right now. I feel like it should. What do you guys think? I mean, seems sensible to me, like you're at a high spot. Why wouldn't you be able to map out a wider radius? based on what you can see. Because you're not close enough to the ground, I guess, maybe? Just being devil's advocate. I'm not, I'm not sure. The reason I'm saying this is I know the Hinterland team is, is smart enough to, you know, think of those ideas on their own. They don't need me or any of us to, to suggest it. So the fact that it's not in the game suggests to me that there is actually some rationale. All right, so there's the broken tower and the um, communication tower. It's not where we're going, though. Not yet, anyway. I want to go to the new tower. So yeah, I wonder what the rationale is. Why, at present, can we not draw farther when we're at a really high point? Why not have the distance of the 
um, of the map, you know, of the, the radius. Why not want to have the length of the, the radius determined by some function of um, terrain? Like, are you at a good elevation to where you can see in all directions? Or are you low enough to where some terrain is blocking you? And then just pure elevation. Because the higher up you are, the farther you can see. I don't know. So I think I go around this way, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of a roundabout way to get to it. Yep, 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 yep. This is the way I went before. Now, one word to the wise. Wolves do patrol up this route. One thing that the Long Dark is pretty good about, or has been up to this point, is... Um, when you're on narrow pathways like this, where you're like going up a mountain, more often than not, you can count their, you can count on there not being animals. And I'm not saying that's a gameplay decision. That's just the way that it's been by luck so far. So when they designed this new area of Mystery Lake, which is brand new, that's the old tower there. It's broken down. Sorry, thought I heard the wolf. When they designed it, um, they said, "Well, why don't we put a wolf patrol route on the mountain path?" And they totally did. And I ran into one, I think, in the mini-series that I did for the test branch. Was that when it happened? You guys can remind me. I think that's when it happened. But, yeah, it was not fun. I don't think the wolf got me that bad, but it just caught me by surprise, because you, I think I tended to assume, oh, we're on a narrow mountain path, there will not be any animals. Nope. Hinterland, <laughs> Hinterland was like, <laughs> let's mess with Hadrian. That was, that was their logic. That was their thought process. Oh, yes. Perfect track. Perfect music. Get up here and enjoy this view. Oh, I let this music play. Alright, the track continues for a bit, but um, here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm pretty tired, I'm going to go ahead and rest for a bit here. Uh, have I gotten everything up from here? Yes, I have. And did I pick anything else up heavy? I mean, at some point I do need to repair those, but I can't do it until I have leather. So let's go ahead and let's do the thing where we sleep as long as the game will let us. We're going to wake up well before dawn risk of intestinal parasites is gone that's nice and we'll wake up to a save point at which point i will go ahead and stop this one here in the next one let's see how's the view outside i haven't been up here at night before oh, i hate this all right hang on gotta go around ah oh, it looks foggy oh yeah can't see a damn thing aside from a few nearby treetops but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and stop this one here in the next one we are going to head out into Mystery Lake, as we said we were going to at the beginning of this one, and uh, spend some more time exploring. Also, I want to note really quickly, this is episode 18 
of Against All Odds Season 4. Of course, once Episode 20 airs, I'm going to be switching to some other content in the 6 p.m. slot. Uh, I am planning on a new Stellaris series, because I know a lot of you that watch the 6 p.m. slot have been looking forward to some more Stellaris content since Roma Galactica ended. Uh, so we're going to do 20 episodes of that, and then, of course, jump back in uh, to Against All Odds Season 4. And again, we are going to go all the way to Episode 100 if I can survive that long. I had pretty good luck in Season 3, so we'll see if that, uh, if that run of luck continues. But until then... I appreciate you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day. <laughs> you guys just found out how Southern I was when I said, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm from the West Coast of the United States originally, but I've been in the South for a while. So anyway, thanks for watching. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.